Hello, hello, hello everyone. It is Lauren here and Katie. <laughs> Katie has decided to do a process video for you guys using the main kit of the Hip Kit Club March subscription um, that I bought her for a little present. She wanted to share a layout with you on YouTube. Do you want to tell them about the photos, Katie? This was my first day of school in year four. And it's me and mum just having a coffee before I go to school. Yeah, that was good morning, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We, um, Katie looked at this beautiful pack and she, we decided that we want to do a layout and make a video for you guys. So we thought we'd jump on Pinterest and pick out a layout that we could, you know, follow as a bit of a sketch. And what was it that you liked about that layout? The title was Love. Yeah, it was a layout done by Wilna and she's a beautiful, talented artist. So Katie had a really good eye there where she picked that. And so we just decided to follow along with that sketch. We were about to share that with you in a moment. You'll see it jump up on the screen. But because of the lights, it's really difficult to see. But, um, you know, we encourage you that if you're feeling like your mojo's a bit lost, that you could pop on. There it is. You could pop onto Pinterest and see what inspires you and then you could do a bit of a scrap lift and that's what we did, didn't we? Mm. So what are we doing now, Katie? We're cutting out some hearts. Yeah, because on that layout there was a double heart feature, wasn't it? So together we traced out some heart shapes and we're just cutting them out and we're going to pop them onto the page. Just by simply, when you have a bit of a sketch challenge, by simply following exactly what the artist has done, that you will be able to ch achieve a great result, especially if you're using collections and scrapbooking kits that match really well. When you, when you do that, no matter what you pop together, it will work. So here we are on Wilner's page. She created a border, but we were lucky because we had this 12 by 12 pattern paper in our kit and that already had a border on it wasn't it what are we doing there now Katie we're just gluing a big piece of paper on yeah why did we decide to do that because mm. it was in that layout wasn't it mm. yeah and what are you what what are you doing here now Katie I'm just rubbing out the traces yeah of pencil there have you got any tips for the ladies when doing this no no yeah so we really just wanted a double heart layout oh sorry like couple of layers there and while Katie was doing this we were sort of thinking about where our photos were going to go uh Wilna had two smaller photos on her layout and we had two bigger ones but we really wanted to border those so that they would stand out from you know the busy pattern papers that we had going on with the hearts so we just, to sort of make them stand out a bit more, Katie put a couple of borders on there and then she just checked where that position was going to be before sticking them down so she knew that where the heart sort of sort of needed to sit. Is that right, Katie? Yeah. Yeah, what else were you thinking about at this time? Or about should the hearts be? Yeah, yeah. And what was what were we thinking about our next steps? Um... I don't know. Hmm. Were you thinking about a title? Yeah. Yeah? And what was... Oh, look at this pretty gold tape. What What was? What were you thinking there? To put them facing each other. Yeah. I can see that. I really like that idea. So you've sort of got a scalloped edge running across the page there. Mm. That looks really good. Scallops top and bottom. I love that idea. And how super gold and sparkly is that? Very. Yeah, very. <laughs> so here we are. We're just going to pop our photos on to the layout. And good girl Katie checking the position, making sure it sort of fits. Referring back to the sketch, we had the sketch sitting beside us on, um, on my phone. And now we're here thinking about a title. So good. Why, why, did, why did you decide to pop it there, Katie? Because then it's more into the page to see. Yeah, definitely. So it sort of centres the centers the title. So it's a real feature on the layout, isn't it? Mm. Sweet love. We are pretty sweet love, aren't we? 
<laughs> now, what are we thinking about here? Where well, we should put some stickers, mm-hmm. uh, if we should get them. Yeah. What, do you like those stickers? Yes. What is it about those stickers that you like? They're always pretty. They're all pretty. They feel nice too. They have what they call an epoxy finish. And sometimes epoxy stickers, um, you need to put a bit of adhesive behind them to give give them a bit of an extra boost. So we're going to keep an eye on our layout over the next few days and see whether we need to put some wet glue on there to really make it stick down. Now what's in this pack, Katie? Some pretty stuff that we could like stick down if we needed, wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Remember the last layer you did? What was the tip when you had a big packet of these things that you shared with everyone? (laughs) Remember you're going to, once you used a piece, what would you do? Cross it out on the back. Cross it out on the back. So Katie, a little while ago, did another video, um, and we shared that on Facebook, where she was using all these beautiful ephemera pieces, but we wanted to know what we'd used up. So Katie came up with a really great idea just to cross them off the back of the packet. So every time you knew you used a piece, you'd cross it off, and then you'd know exactly what ephemera pieces were left in the pack. And that was a really great idea and a great tip for lots of people there. So Katie, it looks like Katie's now finishing off thinking about her journaling. Katie's decided to use a pencil there so that if she made a mistake, she could rub it out. And yeah, so do you want to share what, what we're journaling there? Because it's hard to see on the video. Mm. What did you write there? I wrote about when me and mum were having a hot chocolate and coffee Mm -hmm. and I also wrote about my first day of school. Yeah that's a really great idea. Now what are you doing here with this beautiful colourful rainbow pen? I'm I'm going over the pencils with a coloured pen pen and then coming back and then doing it a different colour and then I'll be and then I'll rub out all the the lead. Yeah the lead pencil. So every second letter was a different colour wasn't it? And some thirds. And some thirds. So when you rub out the lead pencil, you had a beautiful rainbow text there. Yeah? Yeah. That's a really great tip. And when you were doing that, I thought, oh, I love that idea. So great girl, great work there, Katie, with this beautiful layout. Did you want to say goodbye to everyone? Tell them to share this layout and, you know, do all that stuff. Go on. Please share this video. Please. (laughs) Say... Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. (laughs) All right, guys. I hope you like Katie's second process video. There's a playlist called Katie Creates. So check that out if you want to see her first video. But I'm really proud of her being brave enough to jump in and have a go at YouTube and sharing her beautiful layout. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. (music) Bye.